Today we're going from liquid to stopping bullets. I'm back to trying to find new ways to make ballistic armor. This time I'm improving my previous research that showed that I could improve ballistic properties just by introducing a new lattice structure into the same materials, making these outperform their solid counterparts. But there was one problem, and that is that hobbyist resin printers are made for figurines and they're inherently very brittle. So what happens when I switch over to an engineering grade resin printer that's even used by NASA? Well, after trying several of Formlab's different resins, we found that durable v2 was by far the strongest performing insanely well against ballistics even stopping multiple rounds close to each other so quickly that they're literally sticking out of the material but i wanted to take this further and i wanted to half the thickness of my sample which is why i went with a gradient lattice technique which means the node scaling increases the further into the panel you go and whammo we end up with something that is 3d printed but can work as light and somewhat flexible body armor that will protect effectively against things like light shrapnel and can also be used as an impact pad for higher calibers. To step up these tests, I got some 7075 aluminum alloy that I'll be plating the front of these with such that we can bring these up against the higher penetrating 5.7.